Greetings students, this is Jeff Weinberger coming at you here with a new ukulele tutorial to teach you a little bit of that song Hallelujah as you probably recognized. And I know a lot of you already know how to do this one, so this might be a little bit of review for some of you. I know a couple of you in uh, my classes have been real experts at playing and singing this, but I want everyone to catch up so this is a chance for all of us to learn this together. I think we know the chords, we're pretty familiar with what chords are in it, but let's go over that just in case. So be sure to be looking at your song sheets. Uh, on Google Classrooms you will find um, a PDF file, your parents can help you download it if you have any trouble, and they might even help you print it out. Or some of you are probably already handy with computers and iPads and how to use a printer and all of that, but just in case you're not, uh, you should have a song sheet for this if you can, or look at it on your iPad or your computer. Um, so if you're looking at it, you'll see that the very first chord in the song is a C chord. And the second chord is an A minor chord. Other chords we're going to need later for this song are F. We're going to need G. And there's one last chord that sometimes comes up in the song, and that is E7. Really cool chord. If you don't know it, it looks like that. And I'll describe it as fret numbers from top to bottom. One, two, zero, two. Here's what that means when I talk about fret numbers. One means we're playing the first fret on our top string, on our G string. Two means we're playing the second fret on our C string. Zero means we're playing the E string open, zero for no fret, zero fret. And two means we're playing the second fret on our A string. So it's one, two, zero, two. Using those fingers, your first finger, your second finger, and your third finger. No pinky necessary for this one. So E7. That's a great chord to, to learn if you haven't already learned it. Maybe you already know C and you find A minor nice and easy. Maybe you have a little bit of F. Maybe G gives you a little bit of trouble, but E7 is an awesome chord to get down. So maybe let's call that the chord of the week. That'll be our assignment or one of our assignments this week, and I'll put that up on Google Classroom so you can see that as an assignment. E7 is the chord of the week. All right, so now that we know the chords, we have to know how to strum them. And I think you all pretty much have a sense of how to strum this song, but let me explain it just in case. It has six beats in it. This song is in 6-8 time. So we're strumming each chord, one, two, three, four, five, six. You can use your right hand thumb to do that. Six. You can use your right hand pointer finger to do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Some people like to use their pointer finger, but they like to support it with their thumb like that, as if they were holding a guitar pick. That's a good way to do it too. One, two, three, four, five, six. Some people like to do that, but with a closed hand, without their fingers sticking out like that. They close their hands, almost like making a fist, and then they go one, two, three, four, five. All three of those are good. If you like to strum with your thumb, strum with your thumb. If you like to strum with your pointer finger sticking out, strum with your pointer finger sticking out. If you like to do it with your first, your pointer finger and your thumb together, do it that way. Closed hand, open hand, they're all good. All of those methods are okay. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six on each chord. Let's practice C and A minor for a little bit, going back and forth. Six strums of C, six strums of A minor. I'll count six to get us started. One, two, three, four, five, six. C, A minor. That's a nice little exercise to do if you're uh, new to this and you really want to get your C to A minor chord change down. That would make a very nice exercise to practice. All right, let's move on. So the song goes, I heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord. If we do just those two lines, we're only dealing with these chords. I heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord. 
It's only when it goes, but you don't really care for music, do you? That's when the chords change. That's an F chord. But you don't really. And then care for music, do you, is a G chord. Care for music. And then do you is a C chord. Do you. Back to G. So we have C, A minor, C, A minor, but now we go F, G, C, back to G. And with the words, it's, I heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord. But you don't really care for music, do you? Now, without the words, just the chord names. C, 2, 3, 4, 5. A minor, 2, 3, 4, 5. C, A minor. F, G, C, back to G. Now the next line introduces that E7 chord, and the chords change a little faster. So that line is going to go, it goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, the major lift, the baffled king composing, hallelujah. I got a little baffled there on my chord. I didn't change the G fast enough, but I'm going to do that again for you so that you can see it done correctly. It goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, the major lift, the baffled king composing hallelujah. At that point, we go into the chorus, the hallelujah part. So let's go over the chords that we just did. We had, it goes like this, which is C, the fourth, which is F, the fifth, which is G, the minor fall is A minor. It's actually talking about the chords in the lyrics. Uh, the major lift, which is F, the baffled king that I got baffled on a little bit, but I corrected it the second time, G, baffled king. Composing is E7, and then Hallelujah is A minor. It goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, the major lift, the baffled king composing, Hallelujah. And then we just finish it off by doing the chorus. Hallelujah is F chord. Hallelujah is an A minor chord. Hallelujah, that's F. Hallelujah, C, G, back to C, and G. And that's where we would begin a brand new verse. Um, your faith was strong, but you needed proof, that, that verse. So this song has many verses, but I just wanted to today teach you one verse, because I think if you can get one verse, you can probably get all the rest of the verses. They have the same chords, just with different lyrics. So let's play the whole thing together. Let's do an intro of C to A minor. Let's do that, say, two times. We'll do C to A minor, C to A minor, and then we start singing. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're doing the intro. Now we sing. I heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord. But you don't really care for music.
very good. You kept up nicely. And don't worry if you had any trouble with any of the chords or where to change chords. You can always rewind this video and watch it again or look at certain parts of it. Be sure to read along on your song sheet. And I think it's all going to make sense. You know what a really good thing to do would be is to just listen to me singing and playing it while you look at your song sheet. And then you can really follow along with your eyes. And then when you're ready, grab your ukulele and do it along with me. So there's a lot of ways to practice this. I hope everybody is doing really good. I hope you're staying healthy and happy. And um, I miss everybody. I, I wish I could be in the classroom with you on Tuesdays. I, I really miss that. But I think we'll be getting together again soon. We'll see each other again soon. And uh, keep strumming your ukuleles, keep singing these songs, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye, class.